Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubo Gaming, just doing another video on Path of Exile. So this one's going to just be a gameplay video, so uh, I hope you do enjoy. Um, if you do enjoy, please make sure you do like the video. Um, and if you're new, stick around, uh, enjoy yourself, and hopefully, um, please make sure you subscribe at the end. So uh, let's get to it and see what we can find and see what we can kill. So I'm not going to make these playthroughs too long initially. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, do one sort of level each time. Um, I do try and do that with my videos so they're not too long. Um, I think if you're going to do long videos, they're usually better for a live stream rather than a, a, a watched or saved video. That's just me, um, personally. Oh, this is uh, a little bit crazy. really crazy. Alright, okay. I have different skills to mix up, so uh, these seem to have a lot of... Uh, Old resistance, so I'm changing to physical only attacks at the moment. Um, so the physical only will obviously do more damage, whereas my standard attack is um, unfortunately that one is a cold attack. So they might look similar, but they are definitely different. I think what I need to do is I need to get another version of the uh, support ability that I've got. Oh dear. Um, the support ability I've got that literally allows me to have multiple attacks of the same type. Um, is it all but useful? is also a physical only attack and it travels in a long line hence why I'm currently using that one now. I like being uh, attacked from a distance. I feel like I'm being uh, picked on because I can't attack back very well. Hence why Sunder is in my armoury at the moment. Ah, blacksmith strong box. I always like these strong boxes. Right, let's uh, give it a go. So I use my multiple. Stone ring. So a friend of mine told me earlier, when things are on the floor and you're trying to get the one you want, walk over to an area and press up and down on the deep on the uh, right analog stick. Um, if you can't get to it, move yourself slightly, such as that. Um, you can actually also see on the bottom right hand of the screen, you can see what you're looking at on the floor. So. You don't ever have to pick something up to check it out. You can literally do that in situ on the floor and not have to worry too much about it. Now, that superior brass and more is actually quite nice. Wish it had one more socket, but unfortunately it doesn't. Um, if I find myself a chromatic orb, I can potentially do that myself. So the green surround is actually telling you that all of the uh, sockets are linked. Um, I have been reliably informed, so uh, that's why some of them have got green surrounds and some of them haven't. I cannot carry this. So my inventory is full, potentially of rubbish. So there you go, composite bulb just dropped, had all of the uh, things linked. Cleaver also has all of the things linked, and on the floor you can see it's green. So pick that up and that up.
Oh, I have a corrupted zone in here. Players have elemental equilibrium. They do additional damage as lightning, 22% increased quantity of items found in this area. Right, so this is going to be interesting. Um, I didn't think I was going to be entering a corrupted area, so good fun. Let's see what we find. You do get better items um, in these levels, uh, corrupted items in fact. However, obviously you uh, severely um, up against it as everything is more difficult. So I'm only going to go for rare items, I'm not going to pick anything else up really. Hopefully they're going to get something half decent. They all seem to be relatively resistant to cold as well. Thing. I want the ornate sword. All that really. We want to keep them all. Yeah, don't really need that, but never mind. So far, I'm not overly uh, impressed. I've had nothing decent so far. I doubt there's going to be a huge boss at the end, though. This is the first real. Um, corrupted so not done. God, yeah, there is a uh, boss creature there. So we've got a coral ring and a burnt. Wild leather there with four sockets in it. Starting to get some really nice uh, items. Ooh, there we go, look. So, got two items. I've got the Burning Arrow Corrupted. They are two skills, they are. So, Corrupted Zone, two skills back to the catacombs. There we go. So that was the uh, the first corrupted area I've been through. Um, let's see what I actually ended up getting. So I got two corrupted spells, unfortunately. Um, they are green, so therefore they are dexterity based. Um, I can actually use them, but as they go up in level, it will mean that they need uh, higher levels of dexterity, etc., for them to work. Um, my friend actually has a character that could probably use those, so I will probably um, save those for him. There we go, let's carry on with the level that I'm currently there is nothing walking eternal through. in this empire of ours but the names of our day that shall be revered or reviled in the centuries to come to use against statues. What sort of thing you usually come across fighting. Um, there's a memory here as well. What I'll do is I'll... Uh, I'll probably do the, the memory last, if I'm being honest. And I might save that for another video, so that I'll complete this area. And then I'll go back to the memory for another video because otherwise it's going to be too much for one, I believe, personally. Okay. 
Okay, this is getting a little bit uh, interesting. There's a lot going on there. But no reward. Which <laughs> it's not ideal. Um Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, of items that you'll be uh, there's a lot of items that you will find that have multiple coloured um, sockets in them, so that one, the fully linked socketed item back there, the cleaver, had a green, a blue and a red, um, which uh, it's okay, but it does mean if you're going to try and keep items in each of those sockets, you're going to have to constantly level up both your, or all of your stats, so your intelligence, your dexterity, and your strength, does mean that you're not going to be specialising, and personally, in my experience of this type of game, that will limit your build possibilities, which is never a good thing to do in this type of game. Now the good thing about this type of game is they allow you to play the game how you see fit. So yes, it might mean that you will never get to the upper difficulty levels, but what it doesn't do An is it doesn't ever stop you from playing the shadow um, of self doubt. I cannot allow okay. thought and imagined disaster to spin well, about inside his mind like so many strife splintered dudes. An emperor navigates his way okay. through the terrors of perplexity with his eyes set firmly on the rising sun. Wow, that's... So these are trials. You've got six different trials. I've done four, I think it is already. God for that. I don't like it when they do that. It was not fun. An emperor must bear two blades. Hope in the left hand, surety in the right. Okay, that's lovely, thank you. So that's another one that I've completed. An emperor cannot allow himself to become buried in the shadowed vaults of self-doubt. That's a lot more than Cannot two allow completed, thoughts but... of imagined disaster to spin about inside his mind like so many strife-splintered wheels. An emperor navigates his way through the terrors of perplexity. Lots with his of stuff on the floor. Set firmly on the rising sun. Not overly keen on lots of stuff on the floor, but there we go. Should be a way as there is in some games of hiding what's on the floor. I haven't found it yet. There might be. Um, I just haven't found it yet, so... I will keep looking so I can uh, let you guys know if uh, you have got the game or do pick it up and you're also unaware currently. Right, so uh, that's it. Um, I've completed this actual map. The only thing left to do is, of course, the memory. So I'm going to leave it there. I uh, I will do a video of this particular memory as well, just uh, just in case you are interested. So do look out for that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please do like, um, and if you're new around here, please do subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below as well, because uh, they do help me. They also let me know what you want to see, which is more important. Uh, also, make sure you click that bell icon because as I've said before and I'll continue to say it if you don't then what will happen is I could potentially drop off your recommended videos list because um, I am a small channel so the bigger channels will obviously always win out if you click the notification then you're telling YouTube that you want to hear or see when I have uploaded a video so it does help again well thanks for watching guys I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon Bye for now.